Hello, what's up? What's happening? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today, Texas ranked number one, followed by Florida, Louisville, Alabama, Iowa. USC is ranked number six, followed by Florida State, Tennessee, Virginia Tech. Georgia Tech is in your top ten. Arizona State was ranked number three. They lost to UCLA. And now they're ranked number 11. Then you followed by Texas Tech, Georgia, Boston College. They were ranked number 5, lost to NC State. Now they're ranked number 14. Followed by Michigan State, Michigan, Oklahoma, NC State, Penn State. Purdue is ranked number 20. Colorado at 21. Temple at 22. Notre Dame, who we play in a second, at number 23. Then got Fresno State at 24. And Virginia was ranked 19. Now they're ranked number 25th in the nation. So North D.C. is on the road, taking on Brady Quinn in the Fighting Irish. He has 3,051 yards passing. Hopefully we can shut down the pass game. Hopefully we can do work versus Irish defense as Banks gets open and kickoff and gets to the 17. Y'all are going to run the football with McFadden, and they're going to string him out, but he's able to turn the corner, picks up a gain of three right there in his first carry. Give it to him again, and McFadden going to have a first down, and that's what we want to see. More of that from number 21. First and 10. Right up that guy. Gets the carry and takes it north and south for a gain of around nine. You can see that he is a top 10 rusher in the nation. Top five in touchdowns in the whole nation as well. Picks up the first down there. Get the ball to Owens. Let Owens get busy. He gets brought down but has a first down in his back pocket as well. Get the ball to Owens again. And now the fine Irish is starting to fight back versus our rushing attack. So it's attacking from the air. Looking for Samuel, the big tight end who I had high hopes for this season. Does make the catch right there, but definitely not a major piece in our offense like I was hoping he would be. That run play gets us two yards. Jones going to roll to the left side. That was a caught by Banks. Put money in the bank because you usually get a decent return or at least some money safe. I don't know how that works. I'm just guessing. McFadden to the left side. Gets us down to the five-yard. McFadden to the right side. Breaks a couple of tackles, then throws to the turf. Give it to him again. Can he get to the goal line? He does. Can he cross it? No. Third and goal. Up the gut. And we get denied. And we will settle for a field goal as they do some push-ups. The kick is up. And... The kick is good. Nothing wrong with celebrating with some push-ups. Get your calisthenics on. Ain't nothing wrong with a little push-up action. There goes Hodges to the right side, and he's going to work his way upfield. Decent game. Picking up four right there. Quinn throws it quickly. That pass will be dropped. And now it's going to be third down and six. We're going to send a blitz. Great blitz pickup by Hodges. Caught by Demps in the flat. Nobody around him. He turns a little gain into a big gain in a first down. Quinn over the middle. Going to find White, and White is loose. To the 20, to the 10, give the fighting Irish six up on the board. And Notre Dame is going to take the lead just like that. So McFadden from his own one yard line. North and south not messing around. And we're going to kick things off from the 23 yard line. Give the 21 again. He's going to get strung out and dropped in the backfield. Loss of three. Faking the run there. Jones going to roll to the left side. Throws it to Banks. A Dawkins dime, but it's dropped by a receiver. So Jones going to look to the left side. Now he throws it over the middle. Caught by Brown. Takes a pretty big hit. But that's going to do it for the first quarter. We got a first down. So first down and 10 from the 45. 11 personnel on the field. And we're going to pick up nothing. Hickson with the stop at the line of scrimmage. Get the ball to McFadden again. Breaks a tackle. Headed towards the first down marker. And brought down after a gain of eight. So third down and two. Going to set up a screen pass. McFadden makes the catch. Good blocking out there. Now he's loose to the 40. Has a first down in his back pocket inside the 25. And finally gets dragged down from behind. But inside the 20, we scamper. We're going to fire that thing towards the end zone. And that pass will fall incomplete. Get that ball to Owens. And Owens breaks a tackle. It always takes at least two to bring him down. He's different like that. With all that speed and running behind those pads, it's usually a good look for North D.C. And North D.C. is on the scoreboard again. Owens with a touchdown run, and we're up by three. Fumble on the kick return, but Livingston is there for the recovery. So play fake. They throw it to the right side. Caught by Moses. And Moses, the big fullback, going to rumble and bumble and stumble his way to a first down. Halfback pass. And this pass going to be caught by Mills, who gets down inside the 30-yard line. So from the 26, 
They get the ball to Hodges and Woods is there to bring him down before he can get busy. Second down and seven. Hodges up the gut again, punishing people as he runs to the first down marker and picks up a fresh set of ten for the Irish. They get the ball to Hodges again. I think they want to utilize their, ru their rushing attack. Only 24 yards so far, but the way that they're running could be more than that. And then give me that Yehi Zay Harris. Give me that Yeah, Give me that user interception. We got this thing going back the other way. Charlie Woods, my main man. My main bro ham. We got this thing going back the other way with a big time play by Woods. McFadden, he gets loose. He's dragging would be tacklers for a first down. You love to see it. This power attack our formation. Use your fullback to lead the way. That time you led the way for a loss of one, but that's okay. More times than not, our fullback is the man. But not that play again. Brian Johnson drops the pass. He is 99 overall, but even the Irish know how to stop a good running back. Or a good fullback, I should say. Jones going to run out of real estate, and we're going to be forced to punt this one away. So Bridges from inside his own 20, and Bridges gets away from Diggs. Has a lane, and he's going to take this one inside the 50. There is nobody in sight as he races across the goal line, high-stepping like prime time. And we went from having a chance to increase our lead to giving up the lead with just one punt of the football. So Banks trying to get up to the 20-yard line. He gets denied. It's going to be first and 10 from the 19th. Play fake. Jones looking downfield. Banks makes the catch up to the 40-yard line. Move those chains. Jones going to roll to the right side. That pass will be in out of the hands of Brown. So now it's second down and 10. Get the ball to McFadden. Has a lane up past the 50. And we're going to be in Irish territory up to the 43. Another first down. 87 yards rushing for our star quarter, star running back. He's like a star quarterback as much as we feed him. But he's a running back gain of nine right there. Give it to him again. Bullying people. And now he's up over 100 yards today. First and 10. Going to go to the air. Jones going to roll to the left. Throws it underneath. Caught by guess who? Number 21 in your program. Number one in your heart. I'm talking about big Mike McFadden. Jones throws it towards the end zone. Caught by Banks. There's a flag down. It's going to be passing interference on the Irish. Stop. Player. Hating and stop cheating. That's going to be a touchdown. Big Charlie, he can't believe what he sees. Quinn dropping way back. Going to heave this one towards the end zone. And that pass going to be intercepted by Moore. And that's going to bring the first half to an end. So North D.C., could we pull another upset and beat our third-ranked opponent this season? As of right now, we're up by three. But the fine Irish will get the football first. Porter's there for the stop. For the, for the stop. I about to say sack because I was combining stop and tackle. That does not make any sense, I know. Hodges to the right side, and that's going to result in a gain of nine. So that's how you want to start off the drive. That's a good look for y'all. Then they go up the gut. We're going to throw them down with Hurd. But Quinn Richard is a little bit shaken up. Hopefully it's not too serious. They run the ball with Hodges up the gut again. Gets chopped down. But has a first down. And the drive shall continue. Another run play. And the old line is starting to assert its dominance. They're just moving the line of scrimmage back two to three yards every single time they run it. Third down and two. Again, the lanes. The hole. Massive. And it's going to be first down as they work their way inside the 30. So that's a touchdown saving tackle by Porter. But they might get a touch in the way they're running the ball anyways. Nelson got to make a stop. Where are our linebackers out? Second down and three. They're going to run the ball. And we get there for the stop with Woods. But the tackle actually helped them gain a yard. So third down and one. Hodges up the gut. And he will pick up a fresh set of ten. So it's first down and ten. Up the gut goes Hodges. Breaks a tackle. And he's loose. Touchdown. Notre Dame, and now it is 21 to 17. So we got to run the ball. McFadden, McFadden still getting busy to the 30. Has a first down, but takes a major hit. Somebody hit the delete button because he absolutely got erased on that play. And it is now 21 17 with the Irish with the football inside our territory, just like that. Our first turnover could prove to be costly. As, of course, Hodges now up over 100 yards, and then Porter on the sack. On the blitz, I should say, gets the sack. And that's a huge play for our defense. Quinn has it. Throws it deep. And that pass caught by Mills. Touchdown. And the Irish are going to take a 11-point lead as we creep closer and closer to the fourth quarter. Owens, he gets the carry. And Owens is going to get out of bounds with a fresh set of 10 in his back pocket. McFadden back in the ball game now. Going to run the ball with Brian Johnson for the first time today. And he is going to go backwards. 
Going on the ball with him again, and he is just not quick enough to get away from the speedy front seven of the Irish. So we got to come up big here. Third down and 11 from the 30. Jones rolls out, throws a strike that hits Banks in the hands, but even he can't hang on to it. So Hodges, who's been on a hot streak as of right now, is on fire, and we don't have a fire extinguisher in our back pocket nowhere. Not in the locker, not in the shed, nowhere to be found as Hodges continues to cook this defense. They're going to go up the gut again. Nelson is there for the stop, but it's going to be a, a gain of five. Second down and five. They give it to him again. He's loose inside the secondary, dragged down by a shoelace. And around the Mitchell and the big tight end gets it to the end zone, and the fighting Irish have dominated this second half. Jones gonna look to the left side. Now he's gonna throw it deep down the middle and that pass is a little bit too far out in front looking for Falk. Jones under pressure. Down he goes and now we are in a desperate situation here if we weren't already. Jones throws it. Caught by Brown. Can he get the first down? He does move those chains and if we recruit some good receivers look to see brown play some tight end next season because our tight end situation not as good as i was hoping as we throw a pick to black and you always bet on black hodges up the gut again and our defense is dreading every time number three gets the football they run it with him again breaking all kinds of tackles he would have a thousand yards rushing this season if he played us every single week it is just ugly. This game has just been ugly for us trying to stop them. 190 yards for the Irish as a team. 141 for North D.C. as they pick up another run and another first down. Moses, the fullback. He's loose. Untouched for six. Not too many times you see a fullback go untouched for a touchdown, but that's exactly what you saw. Jones looking downfield for Falk. He brings it in, and Falk is loose. He's going to stop the clock even though it might be too little too late. Going to roll out. Jones lets a fly. Caught by Brown over the middle. He lives in the middle. That's his territory. Do not mess with his property. Jones looking downfield. That pass overthrown. And now it's going to be second down and 10. Going to run a direct snap with Johnson. And Johnson's going to pick up maybe two yards. And I think that might put him in the plus, in the plus column as far as we're running the football today. Falk makes the catch. That should be a first down, and it is. Move those chains up to the 15-yard line. Jones dropping back. Can begin to the end zone. Not on that play. That play is going to result in incompletion as it gets broken up. So second down and 10. Looking down, Phil, for Falk, who makes the catch, but fumbles. Hickson knocks it loose. Black with the recovery. Runs the man over just because. And that right there is going to do it. <laughs> so the great Barracudas, we fall to 5-6. And that's not exactly where we want to be because we do not have an, affili uh, an affiliation with a conference. And usually that helps to get uh, a bowl game. You know what I mean? Like Pac-12, Pac-10 is designated for a bowl. Big 10, Big 12, they're designated for a bowl. Uh, SEC, ACC, y'all know how college football works. Because we're independent, going 6-6 six and six might not allow us to get access to a bowl game and right now i'm getting ahead of myself because we're five and six taking on a navy squad that could possibly give us fits because they run the triple option triple option teams in this game are hard to stop running the football for the computer if they do that versus me they're usually going to have some success unless we're going back to the hoosiers in indiana so washington they are five and six they don't have no more games ohio state is five and six they don't have any more games either so maybe we could leapfrog one of those teams if if we beat navy they're ranked number 78 in the nation they are five and five we are five and six looking to go six and six you can see what mcfadden has done over 1300 yards rushing could we get up to that 1500 mark that would be a great season because he's coming back i believe he's a sophomore i want to say he's a sophomore maybe he's a freshman but i know he's not a junior so i know that we got at least one more year with them unless he decides to go pro after that season maybe two more years you feel me so we're gonna be taking on navy and there goes that rush rushing attack morton bouncing it up the guy for a first down. Then Hatchell, he gets the carry, then to get brought down after a gain of four. Second down and six. They try to run it, and there goes my man Wilson. He's going to blow that play up. Now we're going to get a hit on the quarterback, but the pass is caught by Washington, and that's going to be a touchdown. I don't know what it is with number 21 with a golden dome and a navy blue jersey, but they are burning my secondary like it's nobody's business. 
First down and 10, gonna get that thing to McFadden. McFadden gonna try to get busy. They know what we wanna do. We wanna run the football, can they stop it is the question. A little slant route, caught by Banks. And that is a good looking pass for a first down. Play fake now for Jones. Gonna throw that thing in the traffic and Glassby with the interception. Jones can't bring him down. And he's gonna run away from everybody else. And that's a touchdown as he high steps across the goal line. So kiss the ball game goodbye because if we can't be Navy, it's gonna be all she wrote for our season. And we are down 14 nothing. McFadden, 17 return yards, 15 rushing yards. He's the all-purpose guy that we need and we do love. Up the gut for a first down. We give it to him again. He's gonna go backwards this time. No blocking to really speak of. Second down and 13. We fake the run. Jones gonna roll all the way to the right sideline, sets his feet, throws a strike caught by Banks, and that will be a first down as we cross the 50 for the first time today. Jones gonna roll to the left side, trying to avoid the rush. He's gonna step out of bounds, actually gonna result in a loss of one, because I was second down and seven, I was third down and eight. Jones looking for Falk, brings it in. His hands might be the best on the team. Look at him, get loose. All the way inside the five, the run after the catch, looking good. Another 80 with gold pants. These pants ain't quite gold, but you know what I mean. There was another, another number 80 wearing gold pants. They used to run after the catch somewhat like that. He might be proud some of them, I'm just saying. So we go up the gut, we get a touchdown. We have cut the lead down to half. 14 to 7 is now the score. Hatchell going to try to get loose, and he does. Nelson gets in there for the tackle, but it's going to be a gain of three. They go with Hatchell again, right up the gut, bouncing off a would-be tackle. Fumble, but they do recover it. And it is going to be enough for a first down three carries for their fullback 16 yards. Design QB keeper with Brown. And you know the Navy quarterbacks can scoop. Not only do you have to serve your country to play quarterback at Navy, but you also have to be able to run the football. Hatchell, he breaks a the tackle, then punishing a would-be tackler for a first down. They get the ball to Hatchell again, and Richard is there for the stop. And Johnny Wilson is hurt as we end of the first quarter. So second down and eight from the 34-yard line, they're going to give it to who? Hatchell. Hatchell is a grown man. You can see every time he gets the ball, he seems to fall forward. Third down and three. They're going to run a QB keeper. And look at Moore, our cornerback, coming up from the outside into the backfield to get the stop on the quarterback. And we take over. McFadden crosses the 30, has a first down, and has a gain of 23 in his back pocket. Up to the 43-yard line. McFadden crosses the 50, has a first down in his back pocket again. And it's another first down for the great Barracudas. There goes McFadden. Follow Brian Johnson. He's going to lead you to the promised land. Nine carries, averaging 8.1 yards. A carry is filthy. Now we're going to feed Johnson because we want to keep our fullback happy just to gain the one. Jones is going to roll to the right side. Still rolling, looking for Samuel. Takes a big hit, and he drops the football. So now it's going to be third down and nine. Got to go to the air again. Nice blitz pickup. Going to throw this one over the middle. Caught by Brown. And Brown gets down to the one-yard line. I thought he had a chance to get across that thing for a touchdown, but would take it to the one. And again, I can see him playing tight end for us next year, depending on who we get in the offseason recruiting stage. Second down and goal. We get denied again. So third and goal. Can we please get into the end zone? And we can't. So Mike McFadden gets stopped. He has 72 yards rushing. If he had 73, we'll be talking about another touchdown for him, but we settled for a field goal. So we're still down by four, but we have stopped this team, and we only allowed one touchdown defensively, which gives us some hope that we can continue to stop him. Washington makes another catch, and that man, Washington, is faster than fast. Brown, under some pressure, Woods gets to him, but they say that's going to be an incompletion and not a fumble. Under some more pressure, they throw it caught by Graham. Is that going to be a first down? Yes, it is. Move those chains for Navy. So the midshipmen are on the move, and then Woods lays the lumber. Huge hit right there on the tailback, and that's what you want to see. Brown to the right side, caught by Washington, and Washington is going to go for a gain of five. Third down and eight. Now Brown's going to keep it, and Brown gets stopped just shy of the first down. So we're going to call a second timeout, one timeout left for us as we get the football right back. Going to go over the middle, caught by Falk, fumble, and Navy's going to recover it, and they break a tackle with Riley, and Riley's going to get this one up to the 41-yard line, and Jimmy Jones is a little bit shaken up. Not what we're trying to see, okay? Brown looking downfield. Hatchell continues to be a thorn in our side, takes a big hit, but has a first down for Navy. Brown going to try to escape, and he does. Nice spin move. Then he breaks a tackle inside the 20. Offsides on the play, so the play will stand. Up to the 16-yard line. They fake it with Washington. They throw it to the flat. That pass 
will fall incomplete trying to find Hatch. Brown looking, Brown running. Look at my ankles, they're broken. My goodness gracious. Just when you think you're gonna get an animation, you don't you look silly on the tube. So the midshipman 21, the great Barracuda's 10. McFadden up to the 15 and about to the 17, just about to the 17 yard line. And that's where we're going to take over. McFadden, you see he's a little bit slower after that kick return, but he does pick up a good game there. He's still in the ball game. We're going to throw it. We're going to try to throw before we get sacked, but we get sacked. So here we go. Third down and six. We got to have it. Going to give it to McFadden. He will pick up the first down to the 30, to the 35, up to the 40 yard line. Great job by our tailback. First and five after the offsides call. We're going to pick up another decent game. Set up second down and two. Gonna go to single back. Look, McFadden gonna bounce it. And Mike is loose to the 40 yard line. And that will be enough for a first down. Our right tackle just got demolished. And we get sacked. Not what we're trying to do on first down. But that's what we did. Second down and 18. That pass broken up. So we need to complete a pass right here to keep this drive alive. Looking downfield. Gonna throw this one. That pass broken up. And we get the ball right back to Navy with nothing to show for our efforts. They're gonna go uh, with the end around. And Washington is gonna get brought down at the line of scrimmage. Hatchell gets the carry. He's loose yet again. Chopped down by Nelson. But has another first down. We have 107 yard direction. They have 101. And now Hatchell tries to go up the gut. But met by Richard. Gain of just two. And then a broken play. And I'm gonna take it. Anything I can get at this point i would take it wilson with the stop third down and 17 under some pressure and johnson he's in your backfield and he gets the quarterback sack so we take over still down in this one but there's plenty of time to come back as brooks now has his 14th tackle for loss that's a lot of tackles for loss that pass dropped by brown does anybody want to catch the football looking down field we're gonna throw this one to banks he can't hang on to it would have been a tough catch Kind of an awkward spot where the football was, and he got hit. But somebody needs to catch the football for our quarterback. Washington to the left side. He gets thrown to the turf. Second down and nine. They fake the up. They fake it up the gut. They give it to Morton, and Morton breaking ankles and getting loose. So just when you thought you had him, you don't. Hatchell to the left side. He gets brought down by Smith, and now Hatchell is hurt to end the third quarter. So we are down, but we still have a chance. We still have hope. So first down and 10 from the 20. McFadden gets the carry, and McFadden has some room to operate. The chain gang goes down, but it's a gain of seven in his back pocket. Get the ball to McFadden again. Nice carry, still on his feet. And another first down. You can see that he's a top six rusher as of right now. Owens, he gets the carry, he's loose. To the 50, to the 45, breaks a tackle. You can hit him as hard as you want. He's gonna keep chugging and plugging away. We're gonna give the ball to Johnson who breaks a tackle, but the thriller is gone with running the ball with our fullback, at least as of right now. That pass gonna be caught by Banks, and that will be a first down at the end of the day. Give it to your playmakers and let them play, you feel me? Owens gets the carry, gonna get brought down around the line of scrimmage, gain of two though. So it's going to be second down and eight. Jones looking for Banks yet again. Makes the catch again. And we're cooking with grease. Grandma's recipe inside the 10. Going to get that thing to McFadden. And McFadden has another touchdown on the season. He could be in line for some hardware. And now we're going to go for two with Brian Johnson at quarterback. Little Barracuda offense. Not the Wildcat, but the great Barracuda. You tell me. They're going to run the ball with Thomas, and Thomas is going to have a first down. They can just do whatever they want to with this rushing attack. Lewis, he gets the carry because, remember, Hatch was a little bit shaken up. Lewis is going to pick up five. Triple option. It gets denied. Alvarez, all up in your back throw, all up on your quarterback. Now Brown looking, throwing. That pass will fall incomplete, and we take over. That's a great play and a great stop by our defense. So McFadden up the gut. We're down by three. We got the score under a minute 30 on the clock. Jones going to roll right looking for Falk. He makes the catch yet again. That's a first down. I feel you. I feel you. And I see you. Jones looking to the left side looking for Banks. And that pass will be broken up. So now it's going to be second down and 10. Johnson has it still. And Johnson, he will get brought down before he can even really get going. We're going to run the ball McFadden. And McFadden, he gets loose to the 50. McFadden still plugging away. Breaks a tackle. And we get dropped just shy of the 40. 32 seconds on the clock. Got to hurry up just a little bit now. Looking for Banks one more time. Makes the catch and went inside the 30. So 19 seconds work. When we go to the ground game again, and McFadden, if he gets a block from Banks, he's probably gone. So we have two timeouts left. 
Now we have one left. Nine seconds on the clock. Jones going to roll right. Looking towards the end zone. Caught by Banks. Touchdown, Great Barracudas. And it's going to be 25 to 21. So we got a four-point lead. They got to score a touchdown. Brown looking downfield. Brown going to throw that thing. That pass is incomplete as a flag. I'm not sure if in college that there is, like, the, the ball is not catchable. I know in the NFL that's the thing. I'm not sure in college that's the thing because that pass was not catchable, but the, the flag stands. Passing the fairs. They get another chance with triple zeros on the clock. Brown looking downfield. Throws it towards the end zone. Intercepted by Porter. And that is going to do it. We came, we saw, and we beat Navy. It's a good feeling to beat Navy. It really, really, really is. It's not always easy. It's not always easy beating this team. Beating the, you know, beating the teams that represent the armed forces isn't easy because typically they like to run the option. And in this game, if your defense is not top notch, you're going to give up a lot of yards on the ground now with indiana i keep on bringing that because indiana with all the ncaa's i've done all the all the dynasties i've done on this channel indiana was the greatest defense we, we we've ever had and it was because we had upperclassmen who were upperclassmen that was actually good actually good at football i think that played a role now unfortunately we do not have a bowl game that allows us to get to the recruiting trail a little bit faster that we can maybe build up this defense so it can be like indiana one day but that's gonna do it hope you guys enjoyed the video hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day peace love Hi, sauce.